Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to do my January favorites. I used to do these every month when I first started YouTube, and then for some reason I just got out of practice. But I do think it's good, given all the things that I get, to let you know which ones I use the most, which ones I think are really worth the money, and a lot of these things I, I may have not had very long, but they just thrilled me and they made me feel so good and excited that I want to share them with you. The first thing is this Anina Bing Quinn jacket, blazer, coat, whatever you would call it. It's in the form of a blazer, but it's, let's see what it's made of. It's got wool and cashmere and it's not cheap, but I think this is going to be with me for a long, long time, 90% wool, 10% cashmere, no lining, you can see. And I tried to like wear it for this video and it's hot. It is a warm blazer, it gives you style. This is a medium, if I had to do it again, I would get the small, but it's been worth it. I have worn this so much that it's been, my cost per wear is going to be great. And I really recommend it. And now is the time that you can find these half price or 20% off, you know, all the different sales that the different places go. So I will look online and see if I can find these on sale in the different colors because it has been so good. For someone like me that doesn't really want to wear a heavy coat or a long coat, but it still gives me that little bit of look of the long black felted chic coat but still gives me that blazer look. But I've got them laid out in order so that I do not forget. Nails, I have enjoyed my nails. Now, last time I went in there, I had a little disappointment because my guy is on vacation and they don't mean Raleigh, they don't mean Florida, Vietnam. And he's gonna be gone for, usually they're gone for about at least a month, if not six weeks. In that salon, they're all family and they take turns going back home. The main daddy there did my nails and they had started hurting because my nail was growing out underneath and it was like on my little baby pinky nail. Like look how small that little nail is. It was starting to like pull up. So I had them take them all off, cut my nails again and do a new set of the pink and white ombre, which was quite an undertaking. I did not enjoy that whole experience. So we shall see. I have to say I'm disappointed because the first ones I had on, I really, really, really liked. I've enjoyed having nails. So the only thing I'm thinking is I'm going to get someone else to fill them in to see if I like the shape a little bit better. And um, I'm going to let them, you know, grow to that point where they're not comfortable. Go ahead and get my money's worth out of them and then we'll go from there. We'll go from there. I, I know I'm not gonna go without nails because I've enjoyed it a lot. It, I feel like it, I don't know, with this job and everything, it looks nice. It's, it is part of the look that I like, but I'm just disappointed that my guy's not there. But you know that happens. Okay, then the next thing I wanted to tell you about is my powder. This is the Givenchy but it's number two. I've always told you to get number three. Well, this is the number two. I got a small one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't like the mess, I don't. But the number two is not as pink. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it because I love you guys. I'm making this mess. But this one is just like a beigey color, but it's still kind of brightening, very smoothing not too pink, just the perfect, the perfect powder. I love it, I think you should try it. Okay, my next favorite has been the Nude Envy lipstick and lip liners that they sent me. I'm wearing these today. I've got on the Love lipstick, and this, like I said, is the owner's favorite. I mean, just doesn't get any better than that. And the two lip liners that she sent me that I like, she sent me a lot of them, but the one, my favorites are Rich. I think she likes a lighter lip liner. She likes more of a really nude lip with no lip line, but I do like a lip line. 
So, and then this is, I think it's elegant. Aren't those good? So good. Like, I try so many lip liners and lipsticks that when I wear something day after day after day and I love it day after day after day, that's when it becomes like worthy of favorites. Gems Tops. This is the nude one. I have the brown one, I want to get the white one, and I've got the black one. And I'll be honest, as you would guess, I wear the black one the most. These little tops are so nice. They look like a little kid's top, but they do stretch. And they're just, I don't know, they're the best little layering piece. Every time I wear them, I think I need to get more of these. And I got the size small. Looks like it's nylon and elastane. And they are kind of, um, they're not double, they're just a thicker, a thicker material. And if you don't want to get those, Pumi. I just took this tag off of this one this morning. This is the Pumi. Please ignore my ugly microphone. And this is actually a bodysuit. And I'm sure they have the shirts because I have the long sleeve black shirt. I just wore it the other day and I took it to Dallas with me and I love it. Now these are two ply, like there's two, two different layers in this. And that's what helps it, you know, look better and lay better and feel better. And, you know, when I did my great big Amazon unboxing, I told you that I loved the Pumi bodysuits, the halter ones. They did not wash very well. They didn't wash as good as the Zara bodysuits. They almost washed like you were washing hosiery or something. They kind of shrunk and shriveled a little bit. Whereas these, this particular type, I will link the exact ones down below. They're my favorite and they're not as expensive as the skims and I think they give a lot of the same look. The collar's a little different. You know, the skims, they have this kind of collar. Cosetta, I love these shoes and I know these get on your nerves. Some people tell me in every post that this is ruining my outfit that my slippers don't belong here or there. These are shoes. You see that bottom? Those are shoes and they're Uggs. So that is appropriate to wear wherever you want. I don't care if you wear slippers out, really. I don't care, but I love these. And when I got these in goat, this color is so good. It goes with so many different things. It goes with your cream sweatpants. It goes with navy blue, with your gray. I mean, it gives you like that tone on tone look and you know how much I love the black ones. And they're just, I think they're fabulous. They're definitely, they take the place of slippers. They take the place of flip flops. And they are my, when I go get a pedicure, I wear those. They're just easy. They're just easy, comfortable, warm shoes. And they're perfect for people like me that have claustrophobic feet. You may be wondering what bra is she wearing underneath that tight blank top that doesn't show like every rumple and bumple. It is this. This bra is just so good. It's a Soma, Soma bra. I'll list it below, of course, because they have a bunch of them. I just got a little card in the mail that was going to give me $25 off and I went to the website. I was going to get another one and they just don't have any good colors yet. So I saved it. I'm hoping they'll get like a pink or a fuchsia or a purple or something fun for the spring. It does not have wire, but yet it still has like this cup in it. Um, soft straps, so smooth. I mean, I could sleep in these. I don't because I don't know. I just... I think the women at Dillard's like got it in my head that you shouldn't wear the same bra all the time because it'll lose its shape. And the Honey Love bras are very, very comfortable and they look nice underneath your clothes, but they don't fit me quite nicely right here like these do. I mean, like you can see that one is just like right there. And so I wear the Honey Love bras at night or Nay those little bralettes. That is another good one. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Blush. I, do you remember, 
I think I had gone to Tammy's house in Florida and she loved this blush. And then I got it and we were just like loving it, telling you all to get it. Well, I don't know what made me like fall out of love with it, but then I would wear it a few more times and I couldn't figure out why it was too dark, why I didn't like it. Well, the way I've been using it and I have it on today is if I swish my brush up and down vertically rather than side to side, feels like I get less color and more highlight and it's not as dark. That's probably just a mental thing because it's probably the same. It looks perfectly round to me now that I look at it, but I think it is the best like sexy blush that gives you cheekbones, it gives you color, but it's not screaming, I'm pink, I'm peach, I'm coral. You know what I mean? It's not just screaming out, I'm a blush. It just gives you that blushy kind of um, Charlotte Tilbury look. I just love it. I've really used it a lot lately. And I will say, I like a long, skinny, fluffy brush <laughs> and just kind of go all over it so you get plenty of that highlight in there. This, the La Mer Lip Balm. When I first got this, I was like, mm, I was kind of mad at myself for not getting the lip balm that's in the pot. But I had heard Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, talk about this so many times. And Marnie, she doesn't spend high dollar on things if they're not worth it. She's a little bit more frugal than I am. And so I tried it and at first I thought, eh, I should have gotten the other one, but I have ended up really loving this. And now that I have the nails, I'm thankful that I have this one. Now I'm out of my City Beauty Clear. That's still number one, even over La Mer. I need to get some more, but I've been trying to just use what's in my drawer because my drawers get so crowded. But I really like this. It gives you a nice minty feel and it's got a great big wand, no color. It even smells minty. It's pretty luxurious, you know what I mean? It's one of those things. So I have loved it. Like every time I put it on, I think, oh, this feels good. My teeth whitening. I have shared these with you many times, but I just did a little round of them. <laughs> Ching! When I just went to Dallas, I thought, gosh, let me go ahead and do a couple of days of this. You can do like three trays and you are set. Matter of fact, okay, this one's got 14 trays. And you can get these now at Walmart. I s actually, John bought some at Walmart because he wanted to do his teeth. And I was like, I had some in there. But one of my subscribers sometimes can give us a code that makes them a little less expensive. Um, I will try to get in touch with her and see if I can get that code. If not, I will link them at Walmart because even if you pay full price, for a box that has three or four trays, that is a good treatment because it's easy to get carried away because you can see the difference and it doesn't make your teeth sore. It isn't a pain in the butt. You just, they're in like little paraffin wax trays. You put them in and you kind of squeeze them and mold them to your teeth. And I do it before I get in the shower. And that way, this is gross, but that way in case I need to spit something out a little bit, I can. And I take a long, luxurious shower. You know, it's self-care, the body oil and all that stuff. And then I get out and I'll usually look over, it's 15 minutes, I'll usually look over and I just have a few minutes left. So these, I mean, so much better than pressed white strips. And then I've had all kinds of like prescription or whatever it would be called where you get it from the orthodontist or the dentist and it works much better than that. Hashtag not sponsored, organic, my pillow. You guys, I don't know what, you'll have to help me with this. What can I do to take this pillow with me when I travel without it taking up so much space? I don't know, I told John when I got back, it was like the third night, I was thinking, oh my God, I want my pillow. I don't wonder if it would be worth just bringing it with me because I always try to pack kind of where I have plenty of room to get something and bring it back. This is ridiculous, I can't do this, but I was thinking I could just leave it there <laughs> and just buy a new one. I can't do that, I can't do that. But one thing I like too is they sent me this black cover Thank you to Sleep and Glow for sending that to me because my covers get kind of grubby 
from Tanner. And then I always bring like the excess of my foundation and blush and bronzer kind of down my neck. And uh, most every night I take a shower, but on the off night that I just wash my face, sometimes there might be just a little bit left and it will get on my pillow. So the black pillowcase is another one of my favorites. Okay, these, is there something else? Yeah, I've got a few things here that I literally just got. These shoes, you guys. These shoes make me happy. Gucci sneakers, number one. Nike Dunks, Valentine's Day 2024, number two in my sneaker lineup. I love them. They are just, what is it about these? I have to tell you, it was love at first sight. When I saw them, I was like, I'm getting those. They are comfortable. They're soft. They're cool looking. They're just everything you could want in a sneaker. Now, if the color isn't for you, they do have like black and white ones, white ones, all the different colors. I still want the green ones. I sized up to an eight and a half and I don't wear socks, but I don't like, if my toe touches the end at all, they're too small. So I did an eight and a half. I'll leave that up to you. I would say most of the time Nikes run half a size small, but like, I don't know. If you know, leave it down below. If you wear these, let us know. Do you size up a half? I did, no regrets. I love them. I mean, I just couldn't, can't say enough about them. Okay, my J. Crew cashmere scarf. Hey, Sassy. And I would say cashmere in general, I have just not regretted a cashmere purchase. I love that little crew black cashmere sweater I got early in the season from Anthropology. That's been one of my favorites. And I took this with me. Oh, you guys, I've got, this is the Walmart one. That tells you, this is the Walmart version. Hold on. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, this is the Walmart version one I just showed you, and this is the cashmere. Isn't that crazy? I just grabbed this upstairs. I thought this was it. Let's look at the size comparison. Okay, so if you don't want to spring for the cashmere one, get the Walmart No Boundaries one. It's not the same. It doesn't feel the same. I'm not gonna tell you a story, but this one is like really soft. This one's just more and, okay, this one's a little wider. I wish I had gotten the big one of these. Okay, so yeah, the J. Crew cashmere one is a little wider, but really both of them. But when I was on the plane and I was so cold, I loved this so much. Even on the way back, I wasn't quite as cold and I just had this in my, you know, just carry on bag, but I took it out and like put it on my legs, kind of as a blanket and I love it. I mean, I was just like, Loving it, so glad I brought it, and I wanted to tell you about it. Okay, this bag that I got from, I got it from Nordstrom, but it's a YSL Syncocept small bag. Just such a good bag. I just used it at that last event. I When I packed it, I put my socks and underwear in here and just laid it flat. It took minimal space in my suitcase. And I just think it goes with everything. You could wear it out during the day. It packs nicely like in your, in my duffel bag that I wore on the, you know, yeah, that I used on the flight. I just love it. I mean, I just, there's not like one bad thing about this bag. I love it. So I think, if you're in the market, you would love that. Okay, brows. Today I use this, and I hope that you'll be able to tell. It is the Refi Brow Pencil, and the color is a little darker than I usually use. Like I said, it's a little bit darker than what I usually, it's not blonde. And the fact that it's small, I feel like I can really accent my brows and carry them out a little bit longer because I, you know, I'm always trying to make my eyes a little bit bigger and I love it. I love it. I love this one and I actually love that blonde one that Pamela Anderson's makeup artist used. Is it Brow Code? I like that one too. So, but this one I really like. Like I find myself 
And this is when I know something's a favorite, when I find myself digging through past the other things to get it. Okay, this is another thing I just got, but oh my goodness. It is so good. This Tom Ford Vanilla Sex, it is, it's everything. It's sexy, it's comforting, it's light, but you still smell it. It's just so good. If you even have an inkling that you might want it, it's not like a Victoria Beckham, which I'm mad at myself for not taking that with me. It's not a Victoria Beckham type scent. It is definitely a gourmand. Okay, it's more like if you like boy smells, um, even like vanilla era or something like that. Nice, light spray. See, like right now, it doesn't make me like choke or gag or anything. It's just, wow. It is so good. Like, I would tell anyone to get this. Hair. Hair products. Oh, my goodness. I, I, you know, I go around and around, and I'm glad I do because I find some good stuff that way. But there are things that I always come back to, and this is one of them. It's the In Common Magic Mist. One of you guys told me to try this years ago. I think this is my, probably my third bottle. It's four-in-one leave-in conditioner, detangler, smoothing balm, and heat protectant. Now, I really don't count this as my sole heat protectant because I don't, I don't saturate my hair with this. I probably do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably about eight sprays, but there is something in it. It's definitely more than a detangler. This is just kind of like a one and done, I'd have to say. So just love it, and I think everyone would love it. I think it would be good for little girls, too. Like I know with Brooke's hair, whew, we used to use the Pillow Proof. They quit making that, but that's what I used to use on Brooke's. Hey, you guys, we're almost done, and my camera just overheated. I guess it doesn't appreciate me putting it in the windowsill. So um, we're going to finish with my phone and hope for the best. Does anyone use this thing that came with our Dyson hair dryer? I think it came with the hair dryer. Yeah. I I don't know if I'd ever used it to be honest with you, but I saw in the fro Victoria using it. And I think even the first couple of times I saw her use it, I thought, "Oh, she's just using that because she's a Dyson rep and she's got to use all the tools or whatever." But I thought one day, let me try that thing. This is so cool. It, you put it on the end of your dryer and, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you about another favorite. Okay, you put it on your dryer and then you go down your part like that. I thought it was just going to dry, like blow down, like a just like your directional thing, but it doesn't. It does this weird thing where it almost sucks it up in there and then smooths it out. It's very different than you think, and it works. I mean, I want to use it more, but here's a little fun fact. I just had this thing removed from my head right here. That's why my hair is kind of crazy, um, and I have stitches in my head. It was, uh, I don't know if any of you get these. I've had these all of my adult life. My mom had them too. They're pilar cysts, and they're kind of like cysts that grow from a hair follicle, and I've had them removed. This is the third time now. The, I had one removed up here and it never came back, but this one grew back. So <laughs> I don't know why you need to know that, but there it is. So I didn't do it last night because I was just getting my hair dry. But I love this thing. And then my air wrap. People ask me all the time, is the air wrap worth it? Yes, it is. It is I really think that that uh, Revel that I did a collaboration with, um, I believe it, I can't remember if it was Q, QVC or HSN. I did a collab with the Revel. I really like it too, just as good, but I have lost one of my little nozzles because one goes one way and one go, goes the other, but with the Dyson, you just have one and you turn it and I love it. I do. I, I don't think I've ever bought anything from Dyson that wasn't worth it. If you want to spend the money, is it going to change your life? No. But is it worth it? Yes, it is. I have tried this Shark. That one got too hot. I don't like that one at all. Okay. 
I've told you about this before. This is the flat iron that Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, let me borrow last year when we went to the style conference. Best flat iron I have ever used, ever. It's just good. I mean, there's just, it's everything you could ask for in a flat iron. I just took it with me, used it. And then this curling iron. This was a recommendation from Amanda, Lux Mommy. I used this today. I had just blown my hair dry last night, willy-nilly, just to get it dry. And then this morning, I went over it with this. It's got the long barrel, a really, like I like this part, a really smooth plate, um, the heat control that you know, you can put to whatever temperature and it locks. So it's not like beep, 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 the whole time you're holding it and going up and down, cutting off and everything. It's just good. I mean, little swivel cord, just everything you could hope for in a curling iron. And then last but not least, Vela sunglasses. The big thrill. I love these sunglasses so much. You know, they were doing the buy one, get one free. I don't know if that deal's still going on. I load it up. I still have some that I want. And I would say these are my most worn and most comfortable and most versatile. And they are the Indy. And they're just, they're amazing. I was in... I think Nordstrom and I passed the whole, you know, designer sunglasses and I walked up to like the Celine, I think. And I thought, why am I doing this? I don't need any sunglasses. I love those Vela sunglasses. They are just as nice as anything I could buy here. I'm not going to spend my money on this. And I walked away and I never looked at sunglasses again the whole time I was shopping. I mean, they are nice and stylish and everything. Okay, Sassy, if you see her like walking behind me a lot in my videos, it's because she's really into reflections. So if anything were to reflect, I'm trying to think what could have reflected. Oh, okay, she's going on the bed. So she chases reflections. You know, I have that lip combo on today. Uh, my wolf ring, I would say, is another one of my favorites. I've got on some little Jenny Bird, little baby hoops, and that is it. So have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.